Hi, and welcome back. My name is Prue, and I'm Prue LaRue. Today, I am bringing you my haul from when we went to Europe. I actually haven't filmed in five weeks at this stage. I pre-filmed a lot before we went, and then I have come back to work. I had laryngitis, and then I have been working Monday to Friday, which is rare for me. I've just been so tired. So I am so sincerely sorry that I've not been posting on Instagram or YouTube. I've missed you all terribly. And it's been lovely seeing the things that happened while I was away. Uh, thank you so much to Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner for a little shout out. I, I love you, girl. You already know that. Um, and Annette is amazing. If you haven't already checked her out, you, you definitely should. Anyway, on to today, I'm going to show you a little mini haul of the stuff that I've bought. Let's start maybe backwards. I went to Sephora today, got my brows done, getting back into this glam life. And I have got a new Sigma brush. This is all I bought from Sephora. And I got the E35 brush. I just used it today on this look that I'm wearing now. Didn't film this. I just really wanted to sit down and get used to my ring light, my setup, and being back in my vibes. I also just love their packaging, which I'm about to throw out. And it's patented, but how cute is that? So the brush is usually, it was white before I used it. This is really good, I was super impressed. And Sephora Australia is stocking it in store now. How exciting, I don't have to pay Sigma's shipping prices. But Sigma does have some pretty wicked sales on their site. I think I'm gonna need some more Sigma brushes. I think I was looking at the E25, I feel like that's one of Annette's favorites. The E35 is probably just a little bit too big, but it did the job. And I just really wanted to try the brush. Anyway, so if you didn't know, um, we went away partially kind of because I always book annual leave around my birthday. It was my 30th. Oh my god, I'm 30 now. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And prior to that, I had cut back on buying makeup a lot. And I went a little crazy. <laughs> and all the makeup is from different countries and I kind of tried to pick up stuff that I couldn't buy here and that was maybe specific specific to the where I was. So we went to London, Berlin, Amsterdam. I can't tell you for sure where I got everything. I definitely did the most makeup shopping in London though because that's where I hit Morphe, Superdrug and Boots. Uh, Amsterdam I think I only really went to Kiko and Berlin I definitely did some damage there too. First up, let's talk about this eye look. So, the beautiful brand, uh, the beautiful Kayla from Glamometrix Cosmetics, she knows about one of my shadows had a, a poor, unfortunate accident when I first got it. So these is my Glamour, Glamometrix eyeshadows, and these two are actually the same shade. So this top one is ballet, and this is ballet. So when I first used this, I used a like a flat brush, which I normally use for all my shimmers. Where is one? I just used one before. Ah, this brush. This is a brush that I tend to use for a lot of my shimmers and ballet just took like a hit and it sort of died. She's just improved the formula and she sent me another one of ballet so I could see the difference. And I have to say, I really like it. It is the shimmer that is all over my head. My head? I'm not used to this. <laughs> it's the shimmer all over my lid right now. Shall we bring you in? Let's just bring you in. And I just put it on the brush. I ended up tapping a little bit over with my finger and I didn't need to spray it out. So let's just do the swatch. So I'm curious to see if the shade has changed at all from the prior thing. And then I'm sorry, we'll get, we'll get right into the haul. So this is the smash shade or like the shade that, the shade that did me dirty and with the new formula. The new formula is here and it definitely feels a bit creamier. And you can see like a small sh a small difference. They look pretty much the same to me. Anyway, I have to say I definitely approve of the new formula. I know Annette at Annette's Makeup Corner is expecting a delivery of Glamometrix eyeshadows. I cannot wait to see what she thinks of them. The one thing I do find with them is that they're quite large for your normal... Well, I store most of my singles in Inglotch empty palettes because I just, I like the style. But the Makeup Forever ones actually fit these perfectly and they have a beautiful mirror and they're pretty cheap so if you do count this i definitely recommend checking these out if you need uh like a larger a larger pan size 
Let's hope that Annette gets hers soon. I can't wait to see what she thinks. Uh, thank you so much, Kayla, for sending me that new shade. I can throw out the old ballet now, I'd say. Uh, and I really like how, I really like it. So I'm super excited to show you this haul today because once I show you, then I can finally put everything away. Anyway, let's start with this big Morphe bag. So I went to the Morphe store in London and I definitely went a little bit nuts there. I don't know, there was just something that like, uh, it's just, it's such a fun place to shop. And I know that I've hated on Morphe in the past, but if I had a Morphe in Brisbane, I would be there all the time. Uh, because they are staff were there, were just so much fun to talk to. It was such a fun vibe and the makeup is pretty, like, quite cheap. And it was fun because they had uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics in there. They had the Manny MUA palette. I think they had the Laura Lee. It was just, like, super fun to see those palettes all just together. And I was like, oh my god, I've heard so much about all of them. I want to see them all. This is going to be a bit mixed up. Anyway, so from Morphe, I picked up one of their blush palettes. I didn't really see, I think they've got like the three pal three pan palettes a lot, but I've got one of these and I picked like, oh, I picked the Cool Pro. I kind of like super into these purple and these colors and I do really like, I've been a big fan. Uh, did I need a blush palette? No, but let's not talk about that. It's not what we're here, not what we're here for. I also picked up the Happy Hour 15H palette. Man, so many neutrals. So one of my goals that I had when, <laughs> when I was coming back, uh, to work because I was working Monday, Friday, I was going to test out a whole heap of different formulas. I had been wanting to try these ones out and I was going to get like, try and figure out like my perfect work palette. That didn't end up happening. I'm still keen to try and figure out my perfect work palette. If that's something you're interested in seeing, let me know. I'll just play around by myself. But that is why I bought such a boring palette. Please don't judge me. I forgot I did that to myself. And now I, now I feel disappointed because there were so many choices there. Uh, I also picked up like a normal color from Jeffree Star. And this is allegedly, which is like a nice brown lip. It was, and it was just so much fun to be able to swatch some of his lips and actually choose a color based on what I could see. So I, I may have bought one just because of that. Cause we know I don't need any more lipsticks, but it's a really nice color and it, like, it looks nice. Uh, I picked up a Morphe eyeliner and this is poolside. It's more of a pencil than I'm like, used to using. And it's this beautiful green. And I'm excited to give it a whirl and see what I think. I'm a bit upset that I bought that palette. I forgot. Um, to be honest, I've had this makeup just sitting here for two weeks, like waiting for me to film this. So for me, it's kind of like rediscovering what I bought too. I've got like a little pot of stuff I bought. I mean, I'm going to show you all the palettes I bought first because I'm like a palette junkie and I bought a lot. So while I was at this giant Westfield in London, they also had the Urban Decay store, which I'd never been to. And these were on special, the Urban Decay Born the Run minis, which I haven't seen in Australia. So I was super excited. This was like 20 bucks. And I really love the blue and I love this. It's like a shifting shade. It is beautiful. I did play with these all while while I was away too because I couldn't resist. I was so excited when I bought them. Uh, the lasting power on these were a bit dismal though. But I'm excited to try it a bit more and I have been wanting the Born to Run palette. I just haven't wanted to, I haven't wanted to buy it because it, it's expensive. So a smaller version, yes, I'm there. And I do not know why we haven't gotten it. I was super excited. Um, I think we were at Superdrug when the new Makeup Revolution palette had released, but I didn't see it anywhere. I was looking for it everywhere. But I did pick up the Soph X palette from Makeup Revolution or Revolution May. Who were they called? Revolution Makeup Revolution London. And this palette is stunning. Oh my god. It is beautiful. The lasting power on it is great. I am super excited to play with this palette more. Um, yeah. It, I feel like it's quite hyped and I think the hype, the hype is real. I went into Boots and I didn't even know that Wet n Wild was sold in London. I just came across like the Rosé in the Air palette, which I have been coveting for so long just because people want it. And I have to say, I feel like when I see it online, it doesn't look as flimsy as it is. But this, this feels very cheap and flimsy, but I'm excited to try some like drugstore that I'm watching on YouTube all the time, even if it is neutral. I feel like I'm gonna have to make like a colorful neutral, colorful neutral, because like I do love them all. <laughs> so I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these palettes. I was also super excited. 
think it, surely it was stupid, stupid drug, but they had like buy two, get one free. And they had Barry M. And this was cheap. I can't remember exactly how much it was. If I do go back and use these palettes in different looks, I'll have all the details. But Barry M is a super affordable like brand. We can get it in Australia, but I haven't seen like this palette. And it's just like fun. I love the crimped patterning. And yeah, I had plans on playing with neutral palettes. So I'm feeling like I, I wish I hadn't done that and had just bought colorful palettes. Anyway, I am excited to play with these. I'm fairly sure I picked this up in Berlin or Amsterdam. I'm not actually 100%, but this is Catrice and Exotic Fruits. This is definitely a bit more of an exciting palette. I'm pretty sure. There it is. And I think I found out surely this is actually quite new in their range, but I hadn't really seen anything of Catrice and I just, I saw this and I, I fell in love. I wanted it. I love it. And just look how pretty some of these shades are, like Honeyberry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing with this palette and seeing what I think. Do let me know from all the palettes, like what palette you would like to see me play with first, because I have a lot. Um, I also, I went to Kiko Cosmetics in Amsterdam and I picked up, they had like a fairly like neutral range, like there really wasn't that many colours to choose from, but I picked up this kind of weird looking palette. This is the Smart Eyes and Face palette and it should be like your ultimate travel pack. I don't know, I'm curious to have a play with it and see what I think of the formula. I didn't even get around, I never got around to touching this one. Um, uh, this was definitely in Berlin and this is Art Deco. Uh, it was pretty cool. You can make your own palette and they have these beautiful, this cute little palette thing that just pops out. And these are all shades I chose. I'm fairly sure I chose like interesting colors. Yes. <laughs> so this is the palette that I created with the shades at the Art Deco stand. I like it and I'm keen to play with it. This is actually like a light blue. I don't know if you can see that. I've only swatched them. Hmm. I think it's purple. I don't know. I'm like, it's nice looking. <laughs> I'm curious to play with it. Uh, to be honest, the packaging, the packaging definitely like played a part. Just something I love about it. Look at it. I feel like magnets are magic, and that is maybe why I love them. Oh, so Kiko had thirty percent off in store when I was there, so I did go a bit crazy. But I bought these cute little singles. Two of them. Oh, is that shade? Ah, here it is. I've already pulled them out because I was just like curious. But this is number 19, High Pigment. Which is like this funky yellow. Mmm. See? So I thought maybe it would complement the other palette quite well. And I also bought this number 22. And this is like a light, this is a light blue. Just feeling the baby blue vibes. What else did I buy? Oh! I got this. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, this was looks like it was from Berlin. It's made in Taiwan. Batik. I have no idea how to say that. There, anyway, you can see it's just like lightly in there. Oh, that's probably good. It's this brand. Uh, please tell me how you pronounce that. I'd love to know. But look at this beauty. Yes. So I did buy some color. A turtle. Oh. This green here. Damn. I am here for it. Ooh. All right. I'm looking forward to playing with this one. Let me know if you know about this brand, if you heard about this brand. I kind of just like got to a point where I was like, I've never seen this before. I'm so excited. I'm buying it. It is me a lot of the time. So when we were in Berlin, I found the next door. And I got another tote bag. If you remember my Too Faced tote bag. This is so cute. I kept it. I traveled with it. I don't know. What do people do with tote bags? <laughs> Please tell me. But anyway, she gave it to me for free because I bought all this crap. Not crap. Amazing makeup. But I bought the NYX Can't Stop Foundation. I've worn it once and it, it didn't wear well. I forgot to also mention I did buy the... I found the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm wearing right now um fun I just I wanted to spatula my face anyway so NYX and from there I only 
like palette wise I wasn't super into they had the off tropic palettes there but I was like oh, I just want these other palettes I don't need to buy anymore so I went small and I bought the NYX ultimate edit which is I don't know I just I really like this color like a nice sunset vibe and a green like a gray green mm. why am I here for that color I don't know but I was just excited to get my hands on NYX and I was excited to buy some of their liners and also some of their singles so well let's show you the singles I do feel like if I swatch everything we're gonna be here for days though so I'm just gonna be very quick about it so I've got the do you have the shades? Uh, a NYX Beyond Nude. A nice yellow. Like a mustard yellow. I'm just obsessed with those colours. I was going through a light blue phase on my trip. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to put these all to use. I even... Yeah, I think it's because I watched so much Jeffree Star Blue Bellied videos. I just... I wanted blues. This lovely colour. And green. They did say that the NYX singles were being discontinued when I was there, which was pretty sad to find out because I got so excited to see them. I didn't even know they were a thing. And then they get taken away. But anyway, they're entering, they're entering my collection. I am excited to try them. I'm excited to try the little mini palette. I'm excited to try it all. Um, but please do let me know what you're most excited to see me try. I also picked up, as I said, some of their liners. Their Forks white range was like magic. I just got linen, which is like a pale pink shade. I'm just going to go over the top of my other. But I couldn't decide. They all are this pale shade colour. I feel like that's almost perfect on your waterline. Because it adds just like a dab of colour. I kind of want the whole collection. But I, I can't decide either. Anyway, oh my god, I can. they're entering my collection. Yeah, there's just something special about it. So, like, this is Honey Dude from Colourpop, which is what I would say is slightly similar. So, Honey Dude and the NYX Fork. Fox? Faux White. Faux White in linen. So, I just love that pale. I love a good pale moment on the. Like, on your. But I do love a bright. And that is why I bought these. Look at how easy these are just to look like to find. I love that the whole packaging is one colour. I find it relatively annoying when the colour is just on the end and that's the bottom end and sometimes they break because they don't like being stored upside down in my collection. Anyway so this is the NYX Off Tropic Pro Liner in no shade and it is creamy, beautiful and bold. I'm into it. This here is a Manhattan Endless Stay Waterproof from New York. Made in Germany. What colour are you though? Aqua Sparkle. Doesn't that sound fun? Beautiful, creamy, some bang. I am so ready to use that in a look. Oh, I also just picked up some basics because in Australia, NYX, we have it in stock. We have a lot of their products in stock, but a lot of the time they're just sold out. So I picked up the NYX Epic, the Epic Ink Liner, which is the dupe for the Kat Von D, and yeah, I'm super keen to try it. I'm pretty sure this is, I feel like a lot of people I watch do use this one. I'm keen to see what I think. I got the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. I really want to do, I, I'm talking about that, but I'm working on like figuring out what the best eyeshadow base is. For me, I have super oily eyelids, so I'm gonna try and like come up with a wear test system and stuff like that. I bought that to add to the collection. Also because any reason works doesn't it? I went... I saw a lot of recommendations online for this brand. Um, I don't want to butcher the name. But I'm pretty sure it's Alvadi from DM in Berlin. Can you even see the label? There we go. Um, their whole vibe wasn't really like my aesthetic. But I did pick up a lipstick and it's like a sheer colour. There it is. Uh, this is number seven in Primrose. I did see this highly recommended. I'm keen to try it. I'm not like, not that excited about it, to be honest. I've got, what is this? Oh, from NYX. I also picked up, what did I buy? Oh, micro brow pencil in ash brow. 
Oh, I, I see what a name and that means. Let's uh, <laughs> make one. Is always complaining when the ends are the same. That is, um, I agree. Super annoying because you don't know <laughs> which ends which. Anyway, I got I got a brow pencil. I I didn't need one. I bought one. And then at Kiko, they had these really cool liners. I just loved like the feel of them. There's a uh, gel there. There is a sharpener. And I'll get this off. This is a smudger. So the idea is put the liner on and you smudge it out. Let's demonstrate why. So this is Kiko automatic in Mat Mat Matita Ochi. Shade 11. I was like, there's a nice khaki green there. And then see, so you put it down, and then we just smudge her out. I'm curious to try that in the eyes. It's sort of just like this magic liner that has like everything you want in an eyeliner in one. And I'm kind of here for it. I also got like a boring color. And this is, oh, Matita Ochi is the style. This is shade 11. I didn't have to try saying that then. Ooh, I got I bought myself a shimmer. This one here. I wonder if this blends out easier. But I'm excited to just try this smudger thing with more things because it's weird and I like it. Did I buy anything else? For the next thing, I got I showed you the epic liner. That's it. That's my haul. Um, I just want to thank you all for sticking around while I've been gone. I appreciate every single one of you so much. You just make my day. Um, I think you're... Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. I knew there was something. Brushes. So, I went to the Morphe store. I double checked Annette's brush video, which is like my favourite for small brushes. I messaged Annette for tips. This is the brushes that I took with me, but in here are quite a few Morphe brushes that I've bought. So I don't know, I feel like there's something when you go into Morphe that makes you want to buy everything. And I got super excited being able to see the brushes in real life. These are all the brushes I bought. I think I already owned maybe two. Um, and I bought some doubles, but yeah, this lineup of brushes. I'm in love. This is the E17, the E18, the E36. And Annette is the one who got me onto these. I love her. Just follow her advice for everything. But anyway, that is truly now all the things I bought. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.